Come on, turrets. Save me. No? No? You only have you only help EdTech, huh? Oh boy. Let me in! Oh, let me in! What's up guys? This is KG48 and welcome back to my Let's Play for Pantropy. Today we are going to put down a tier 2 mech. We're gonna arm a tier 2 mech and then we're gonna go out and do some jobs. I've been promising to do jobs for you guys for a bit. Um, so let me uh, let me do that for you today. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So there we go. Tier 2 mech uh, probably take like a minute. And while that thing's being put down, I made two weapons for it. I made a mech dual laser lance. I don't know what the hell that does, but it sounds pretty impressive to me. I also made a mech railgun. Now, I didn't like the railgun that I used, so I don't know if the railgun's going to be that good. Um, so we're going to have to kind of see. Does this actually say what uh, ammo it's used for? Used for it? I don't know. That's actually a good question. What ammo do I use it for? Do I use it for? Do I use for it? Okay. I'm thinking... Well, the one is... Uh, um, yeah, I don't know which one to use here. So I think we're going to get maybe railgun projectile for the railgun. And then the laser thing, I have no clue. I have no clue. So we're going to have to put those on there and see what's what. Was I running this thing? Um, no, I wasn't. I wasn't. There's no batteries in it. Let's go throw a battery in there. Oh, so I can put the battery in the uh, drill area and it works? Well, okay, fair enough. All right, we want that thing to be running. Come on, man. Hurry up on my mech, bro. There you go. Oh, boy. Oh, doggy. Look at that thing. Yeah. All right. Not quite, not quite as crazy as the tier 3 mech, but way crazier than the tier 1 mech. Okay, so we need a password. What is my password? My password is blah, 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 blah. There you go. All right. So let's see if we can uh, hold E. There we go. We need to put some um, weapons in this thing. So let's put one right there. And let's put one right there. Install install there we go you have to actually stay on this screen for the inst installation to be done so we're gonna um that's not for ammo energy cells there's where the energy cells go oh we should probably make some uh tech mods for this thing like some uh some armor yeah we should probably make some armor i'm not gonna do that today though i don't expect to be you know having too much problems with it um okay so the, the so the laser thing doesn't need ammo like i thought would be the case um it just takes power all right and um let's see reload no, it just has to cool down. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, take that, games for kicks. Offline raid protection. That's the offline raid protection, by the way, guys. Can't attack someone's base when they're not online. All right. That is freaking awesome. I probably won't even use the other one, to be honest. Um, what kind of ammo does the other one take, though? Um, uh, so it's got to be railgun ammo, right? I think I might have some railgun ammo uh, lying around. Let's go check. Oh man, that thing's gonna be badass. We're gonna do some. We're gonna do some quests today. We're gonna kill some. Uh, kill some baddies. Uh, the game has been updated, and it was quite a substantial update. Uh, now the animals will roam around, and they. I haven't been attacked yet, but they say they'll attack you. Um, I shot one when I was in my tier in my scout mech, uh, but it just like kind of like just ran away. So I don't know if the animals attack you when you, when you're in a mech or not. I'm not really sure. Um, also, we've got major major bugs here. With the, I went ahead and put down a, where is it, Ener energy storage, and then I found out that the energy storage is bugged. So the energy storage just, I don't know, it's all kind of bugged. The developers know about it, the game's pre-alpha, um, they're going to be working on it. This is what you're going to have to deal with it when you know you play these early alpha games. Alright, so let me see if I can find that railgun ammo. I've got tons of stuff, nothing's organized. I really should organize this stuff, man, I really, really should. Um, yeah, I keep I keep saying I should, but uh, I really don't. All right, guys, I had some uh, I had some railgun ammo, so now we've got it loaded. Um, four or four, I guess you could shoot four times. When I was shooting the railgun ammo out of uh, my rifle, it was like one shot, and you had to reload. So this is actually a step up. All right, guys, well, let's come on over here and see if Gamester kicks his home. I don't think he is. Up oh, there we go. Now he ain't around. This is my base, by the way. Let me uh, while it's daytime, let me show you my base. Um. Maybe I should show it to you at night, because I was going to put down... You know what? I'll show it to you at night, because I was actually planning to put down some uh, some lights inside the base. Um, and we should really take advantage of the daytime now. Okay, so let's go to Faction. Let's go to Medium Jobs, and let's remove this nest right here. Uh, this job is not for everyone. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> remove the egg nest. You got 45 minutes. It's at A1. Oh, it's at A1. I should probably look. Um, A... Really? 
that's the closest one? That's too far. That's too far. Why are they so far away? That's kind of weird. Yeah, that, it says that's the closest one. How is it even possible? That's like... Hold on, I want to see what some of these other ones are. So this is at C11. Is C11 farther? No, C11's closer. Alright, so... Alright, so here's the deal, man. I'm, I'm looking at this... Uh, this number right here, I'm thinking that means 7,046 meters. I don't know what that means, but I don't think it means how far away it is. Uh, so let's see where this one is. G11. Where's G11? G11. Um, I don't really want to go there. Um, that's, out, that's out in the... Uh, I mean, it's not a bad place to go, but I think we could do better. I think the other one was actually better. What about this one? Where are you? F11. F11. F12. E13. Oh, that sounds close. E13 sounds pretty freaking close. E13. Oh, God. <laughs> it's where I am. Okay. I hope it, I hope the nest isn't my base. I'm trying to get people to come attack my base. All right. E13. There we go. And accept job. We've got 45 minutes. Difficult medium. We'll get two, 200 credits and 200 uh, rep. And that's this right here. So let's go ahead and accept that job. When you fail to complete a job in a given amount of time or leave this server, you will lose 20, 20 credits and 20 rep. And your job uh, success rate will decrease. However, if you get the chance to cancel the job without penalty uh, when you die trying. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. On map. Yep, there we go. All right. All right, so it's got to be over here somewhere. Is it actually showing up on my map somewhere? Like on my uh, HUD? I don't... Yeah, it is. Look at my... Look at the very top. You see my where my, um, my compass is? It's showing where it is. Cool. I'm going to actually switch to the dual lasers. I like those better. Here they are. All right, cool. Let's do this. Whoops. Wait, why? Why is that thing all the way to the right? Is it because I'm on a hill? I think it might be because I'm on a hill. All right, that's not hitting anything. This is kind of weird. Let's go up here. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> Let's switch to the, um, to the dual uh, laser lance. There we go. Much better. There we go. Job success. Now, the problem is if you're in a mech, the aliens don't pop out, which is kind of a problem. I'll probably stop using my mech. Um, so, because I want to I wanna fight stuff, right? All right. So, let's go to faction. Accept. There we go. Very good. 100 success rate. I've got 600 credits. Um, let's see if there's another one that's somewhat close. Um, D12. D12. Oh, yeah, I could do D12. Sure. All right, let's do D12. Um, I'm still getting used to, you know, getting into the faction thing. There's probably a hotkey for it, but... All right, D12. Accept. Okay. Let's go to D12. All right, so there's a little door-looking thing. I guess that's telling me where i got to go. Um, I'm not a fan of the railgun. I mean, I don't know. It wasn't hitting those eggs, like, at all. Um, if I see an enemy, though, what I'll do is I'll try and use the railgun on the enemies. Yeah, look at my, um, why are my, why are, why is my crosshairs going so far left and right? Like, go in the middle. Maybe there's a way to control this I'm not, I'm not getting. Um, you know what, I'm gonna ask on the, uh, on the Discord. Those guys are always helpful. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking there's something I'm missing here. With the way the arms go to the left and the right. Maybe it's better to stay in here. It looks like you can aim the arms separate of each other, but... I don't know. I've never played a mech game, so this is all, this is all brand new to me. Let's take a look at the map. All right, there we go. We go this way. All right, those nests should be around here somewhere. I gotta make some uh, ammo for my gun before I uh, do this without my mech. By the way, which one are they? Are they these? Yeah, they're these. Okay. Good night. Pfft. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Stuff. Stuff's got to pop out of there. Like I've seen. I've seen stuff pop out of there when you're not in a mech. But yeah. I think what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna. Eh, let's do one more. Let's do one more in the mech. Let's get a thousand credits. Let's get a thousand credits. Um. Oh, can I do all these? Like. Oh, maybe we should go to a hard mission or an easy mission or a bounties mission. Okay. So there is none. It's just medium. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, G10. We want high numbers. High numbers are where we are. F10. G11. G11. H12. H12 doesn't seem too bad. 
D12. There's another one. All right, let's do that. Yep, right around the corner. Beautiful. Be beautiful. I'd like to find something to shoot, though. Maybe we should go to the uh, desert and see if we can find something to shoot. Get used to some weird cuts today, guys. My allergies are acting a fool. All right, here we go. Come on. Here we go. Thousand credits, people. I wonder if there's anything we could buy that's cool in the market. Oh, look at this. Look at this. They spawned. But I don't think they can do anything because I'm in a mech. Can I kill him? Hold on. I'm going to see if I can shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, God. I'm shooting both my guns at once. Oh, man. I didn't know you could do that. No, I just want to shoot. All right. There we go. Doesn't seem to be doing any damage to them. Let's see. It's got a hard shell or something, man. Like freaking shooting a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. No? Oh, there he goes. Come on, shoot, damn it. Yeah, I don't like the, I don't like the railgun at all. Anybody else? All right, let's see if there's any bodies over there. Cause I like to loot the corpses. That's that's why I kill them. I don't kill them just because I'm a psycho. Although, I probably am. Yeah, they didn't drop anything. Okay, fair enough. Alright, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna make some ammo. And uh, we're gonna fight them uh, by ourselves. And, uh, you know, have some fun with that. Alright, guys. I'm back and it is the middle of the night. So let's uh, let's go put some lights up in this place. I'd like to be able to work on, my, on this new base uh, during the night. Um, and I've been meaning to put up lights. I just haven't had the right time to do it. Uh, I also need a ton of oil. I want to make rockets, right? But rockets take so much freaking oil. Um, in order to make a rocket, you need the 10 of these um, explosive compounds. And you need like 40. I mean, you need 400, you know, for one rocket. So that's that's incredible. So, <clears throat> yeah, we need to... We're going to need to get a lot of oil. So I think we're going to be working on oil because, you know, explosions are fun. You know, and that's all there is to it. But that's not really needed right now. What we're going to do now is we're going to come on up here and we're going to work on this. Um, it, this is not where anything is going to go permanently. I'm going to be changing this up as well um, in some ways. But for now, let's just get a generator down. And let's get this thing lit up. And I think we'll put the generator right here. As good a spot as any. So <clears throat> let me go ahead and press G to lock it in. All right. There's the generator. There is the coal. Um, it was already on. Okay. I got 24 lights here. So let's go ahead and put some lights down. Turn this off. There we go. We'll put a light there. Put a light there. How about right there? Is there any, you can't, yeah, you can't put a light on the um, on the circular things. That's hmm, that's interesting. That might be a bit of a problem. All right, so we'll put a light there, um, and there. It's good enough for now. Guess we could put another one right there. Why not? Can you put ones? Can you put them on the bottom? I guess you could put them anywhere if you just press G to. Um, oh no, these these stay locked in. Yeah, you can't put these wherever you want. Oh, that's a bummer. I don't know how I'm going to light this up properly at night. Okay, so that's good there. Um, we'll leave that alone for now. Alright, there's one there. Uh, there. Alright, looks good. Um, we can put them on the ceilings, I'm sure. Oh, look at that. They don't line up properly on this. Wait, what? That doesn't even look like it's attached to the ceiling. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah, that doesn't... It doesn't, it doesn't look like it's attached to the ceiling. What's up with that? I don't know. That's weird. Um, that's a good spot for one. Got this hallway here. Oh, by the way, I changed up the... I Actually, I'm confused on how much of this you guys saw. But um, I did change up the... Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys saw the stairway system I was doing. But um, someone told me that Entech uh, got his stairs to, to line up on top of each other. And yeah, you could, you could get them to line up on top of each other. Honestly, it's not even that hard. So there you go. We got all those lined up on top of each other. So this comes all the way up to the top. This isn't the top yet, but it's gonna be the top. All right, so let's um, let's put some lights down. I can always bring them back up. I also have some structural integrity issues here. We'll we'll get into that in a moment. Um, you know, nothing too nothing bad. Just uh, to be st stuff that's to be expected. I didn't want it there. Nah, let's put it there. Okay, and um, put one there. 
I might actually block this off. Or There's no real need to block it off. Maybe I'll put turrets there for defense. I'm probably also going to take out these windows. Now, there's no offline rating, but I still want my base to be, you know... Um, it doesn't make sense to put windows here because if someone sees a stairway, usually the stairway is like the artery of your base. It, it like goes everywhere. It lets you get everywhere. So I don't really want people to know where my stairways are. Not that I'm really worried about being raided or anything, but... All right. Um, there. 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 Okay, now it's starting to look a little better. Uh, there. All right. So down here... Um, okay, so that's... Yeah, so uh, I'll put that right there. Um, yeah, it's going to have to go on the bottoms, right? Yeah, it's going to have to go on the bottom somewhere. It's pretty lit up here, so I'm not really going to worry about it right now. See, I had to put these pillars here. If um, I didn't put these pillars here, the one in the middle wouldn't be able to stay up. Um, the structural integrity in the one in the middle... Uh, you can't see it from here. Let's go up there and I'll show you the structural integrity. It was really low. And then like eventually would just fall. And if you like tried to walk over one of the, one of the, um, platforms up here, you'd fall through. So the structural integrity is just 75, 73, that's 63. And that's with pillars on all four sides. So without those pillars, it would fall. Okay. So this place is nice and lit up now. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So my plans for this place, we'll talk about the plans and then I'm going to wait for daytime. We're going to go out and uh, do some more. Um, some more jobs. So my plans for this place. Okay, so this is gonna be the uh, the entrance way. Obviously, um, they're gonna come in here. There's gonna be a turret here, a turret here. Um, I probably move this. I don't want the base core this low. Um, uh, you know, I want them to have to fight to get through this. So I'll, I might put another turret here. I'm not really sure. Um, I'll probably put some kind of wall here or something, and like a little doorway. And then they come through here, and I'll probably put another turret like right here. Um, so when they come through there, they have to deal with that. I'll probably put a turret there, you know, um, and this is going to come out to another floor. All right. And, um, okay. So the bottom floor is going to be open. It's just going to be whatever. This floor is going to be, it's tough guys. It's tough. I want a floor for storage and crafting. Actually, maybe I should just have one just for storage. And then I should put the crafting floor with the power. Um, there's three things I'm going to need in this base. Um, crafting, storage, power. Alright. I don't want them to be able to get to my, to my craft, to my storage, obviously. And I really don't want them to get to my power. Because if they get to my power, they could, they could blow up my power source. And then shut everything down. So I think whatever's on top should be... The thing is, you don't really need a big crafting room. So I think whatever on top is going to be power. And then below that will be storage. And then below that will be crafting. So this is probably be like a crafting room, I guess. But... Like, what do I need to put in a crafting room? I mean, I'll probably just put a bunch of crafting tables, I guess. I don't know. Probably, I guess. And then a whole, a whole room for storage. And then a whole room for power. I guess. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Anyway, guys, it's almost daytime. Uh, I'm going to get ready to go out and do some more jobs. And uh, we should be having to fight little critters this time. So that should be pretty fun. So uh, give me a minute to get ready. All right, guys. We've got a mission at F12. So let's go ahead and accept that job. And uh, I am going to take the mech out there. I just won't use it. You know, I'll just use it to get out there. Because I'm... Even though the scout mech doesn't feel that fast, this is definitely faster. Uh, by the way, I've got two laser lasers now. So, if anybody gets in my bin... Oh, here we go. Check this out. What the hell are you looking at, chump? This is what you get when you mess with me. Oh, man. Run away. Oh, you didn't make it. Alright, now he definitely should drop something. Um, last time I did this, the, the same thing happened. The, uh, the animal kind of, like, disappears. But then, like, when I get out, he kind of, like, up reappears again? Or maybe I have to wait a certain amount of time? I'm not really sure. Problem is, uh, the developers, I believe, want us to fight the uh, creatures in order to get more data um, data storage eventually. But, yeah, they got to fix the uh, disappearing of the creatures if that's going to be the case. Um, I really, really like the, uh, the dual lasers. Um, whoa, man. Why is my energy so low? Is it because of those lasers? No. I have a lot of energy. I wonder why it looks like it's so low. See in the top, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's only the one that's in the first spot. I don't know. No, that can't be. I'm not really sure why the why it says the energy so low, but whatevs. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta wait for him to, to appear. So there we go. And wow, there we go. Got some data storage. I I like the idea of having to kill the enemies to uh, get data storage. I think that's great. I think they should eventually like stop dropping maybe or or if you're gonna if you're gonna like go into um into a base to get one it should be guarded like just be able to walk in and pick up data it's cool now because we're testing the game and that's perfectly fine 
But um, later on, that's going to be kind of a... Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work too well. I think you should have to fight for your data storage. There's another guy over there to the right. But I'm going to ignore him. We're going to stay on course here. I want to get these nests destroyed. I should have some guys fighting me on this one. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I don't get killed. Because if I get killed, I'm going to be out of my mech. And then I'll have to come back and... You know, I mean, my, my mech will probably be fine, but... <clears throat> Alright, what do we got? Are we getting close? Are we getting close? I'm not seeing anything. Okay, we've got to be getting close, right? Wait, where is it? I don't even see it. Okay, well, that's okay. I'm, I'm assuming we're close. It was definitely, like, uh, really close. Yeah... J12, H12. I don't remember which one it was. Hold on. Let's take a look. Um, F12. F12. Why is it? This is pointing me the wrong way. Oh. What? It's... No matter which way I turn, the thing's pointing. <laughs> Maybe that's something I... I don't know what that door is. I thought that door... You know, the little thing on my compass, I thought that was pointing me in the direction I was supposed to go. But, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's not. Maybe that's not what that is. I guess I don't have anything on my compass that points me the way I gotta go. That's fine. No big deal. Oh, we got a new base over here. Gotta have to check that out. What did I say? F12? F12. Okay, right over here. Oh, it's right by Entex base. Okay, we should be getting close. F12. F12. Where are the eggs? Are we there? Almost. Ah, uh, it looks like it's inside in tech space. We're going to figure out a way to get in there. That's a bummer. Um, I could walk around. I could probably walk up and around. The thing is, I'm worried about not being able to get out. You know, I'm going to go in there on foot. Because I'm worried about not being able to get out. And it would probably be easier for me to get out on foot than it would be um, to get in. I think he's got the... Uh, I think he's got... No, he doesn't. I could probably go around, actually. All right, I see why they weren't showing up on the map. When you um, actually take the quest, you actually you have to actually hit mark on map, or they will not mark on the map. And by the way, they're up in the sky, so this should be pretty fun. Let's give this a shot. Okay, they're on me. Oh no! Die, bro! All right, looks like that other guy stopped running after me. Oh, there he goes. Shoot him right in his stupid alien face, and he doesn't seem to care. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> there you go. Wow, you need a lot of bullets for this stuff, man. For real. But that's okay, we're getting some experience, and we're getting, well, I guess we're not getting experience, but we're getting items. Yeah, I'm not, this is going to take up all my ammo. I have to make a lot more ammo, like hundreds of ammo for this. They are bullet spongy as hell. Okay. Oh, these guys are these guys are chumps. Hey, Entech, uh, you, will your turrets help me? That'll be cool. Let me see if I can drag some of the Entech's turrets. All right, at least we at least we uh, finished the job. Come on, turrets, save me. No, no, you only help you only help Entech, huh? Oh boy, let me in! Oh, let me in! Strange, stupid face. <laughs> I keep, I keep hitting uh, Entex base, and it says some raid protection. <laughs> you dead? I don't know if he's dead. I'm not really sure. I completed the quest though. Yeah, this is a lot harder without a mech, man. Ooh, who'd have thought? Oh, is he underneath? Where is he? I don't know where this chump is. Where'd you go, buddy? Underneath? Alright, I don't know where he fell through the world or something. I'm not gonna worry about it. Another quest down. <laughs> Let's get back. Oh, that's not my mech. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to get in your mech. You know what? While we're here, let's grab some stuff. Why not, right? I get a better gun, too. Um... I don't like... I'm not going to use this stuff, but it's good to clear it out so more stuff spawns. Oh, wow. That's a nice uh, tier two. That's not bad. Whoops. Damn it. 
All right, there we go. What's going on here? Get, get rid of that. Did I hit the tilde key? I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on now. Can't take anything. Okay, it's not the tilde key. It's the F1 key. That's what confused me. There we go. Sometimes the admin controls are opened up by F1. Sometimes they're opened up by tilde. Oh, oh, uncommon. That's still the same kind I have. Uh, my crafting skill has gone up. Maybe I can make better uh, assault rifles now. Ooh, that, that's actually really nice. Actually, I could use both those things. That's cool. All right, so let's drop the stuff we don't care about. Um, there we go. Anything else? Mm, I don't really care about the railgun. I should hold on to it, though. You never know. Maybe there's something good about the railgun like I didn't know about and I was using it wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more mission. And then call it a day. Oh, man, look at this. I don't know when I get more missions. There we go. Um, G, uh, like something in the 12, please. H12? Eh. I mean, it's, it's, honest, it's honestly not that far, but I think I could do better. G10, H12, F10, D12. Yes, let's do D12. I like me some D12. All right, mark it on the map. All right, let's get on over there. All right, guys, found the next group of eggs. Oh, boy. What the hell was that? That thing was all red and stuff. Oh, it's dead? There's a playing dead. Hold on, let's go take a look. Ooh, That thing's gross as F. Oh, another one. Oh, those might have been the ones I killed, actually. Last time I was here, they finally spawned. We can get up on these rocks and... Nah, I don't want to cheese it. Let's do it this way. Oh my freaking god, what the hell did I just do? Maybe I should have shot one at a time. Uh, I could probably use the mech now, right? Like, they spawned. Okay. Oh, it looks like they stopped chasing after a bit. So I kind of, like, take them one at a time. I'm going to run out of bullets here, um, eventually. So I'm going to have to use the mech anyway. We are getting a ton of data storage. Unfortunately, I don't think I need that much anymore. Uh, we're going to have to put some in our mech anyway. So let's do that now. Come on. Here we go. We got some storage here. Yeah, I don't know where they're going. I don't really care. Hopefully they're not being destroyed. Yep. Oh, no, they weren't. Okay, good. They're going in the ammo spot. Nah, whatever, it's fine. Alright, how many bullets do I have left? Okay, I got a decent amount of bullets left. Let's finish these guys off. Oh, I didn't even finish the eggs. Okay. I don't know where the rest of the enemies went. That's weird. I know more than two spawned. Oh, well. Not my problem. Finish the quest. Peace out. Peace out, brah. Peace out. Let's go see what's going on. We gotta kill someone. Ah, let's do it in the mech now. The hell with it. We have a mech, right? I mean, what I should do is I should kill... I should uh, shoot the eggs by myself so the, um, so the enemies spawn and then use the mech to finish them off. Oh, did they run away or... Did they disappear or... I don't know. They might have run away. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they're gone. Anyway, my mech is about out of energy, so let me um, let me take his uh, his um, low energy ass home. <laughs> We're gonna call this here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.